Just kidding. Hi everyone, welcome to Curiosity. My name is Jen and I'm one of the keepers here. And we're gonna tell you a little bit about our otter named Gunner. We actually do a daily otter talk when we're open, when we're open our Tuesday through Sundays, and we do an otter feeding every day at noon. So since we can't do that now, we're gonna bring it to your homes. And we hope you enjoy seeing and learning a little bit more about Gunner, our North American river otter. I have his food here. And today he'll be getting smelt for lunch and I'll go over other things that he eats in just a minute. But for now, I'm pretty sure he's ready and waiting. So let's take a look at Gunner, our North American river otter. So Gunner is about 11 years old and he came to us from Washington state where he was found near someone's backyard as a pup or a baby otter without a parent in sight. He's lived with us since he was about six months old because he is non-releasable. In case you don't know, Curiodicy is a nonprofit organization that focuses on the care of native non-releasable species as well as a local science center. You'll notice we like to keep Gunner moving and exercising. In the wild, they would not have food thrown directly to their homes. They'd be working a lot harder and could even go a day or two without finding food. On a daily basis, Gunner gets breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and he gets a mix of herring, trout, shrimp, squid, smelt, and ground up horse meat that is meant for zoo animals. We often will hear people call Gunner a sea otter, but he is indeed a river otter. If you are looking at fresh water, like you would find in rivers, lakes, and streams, versus a sea otter that's gonna be found in the open ocean and salt water. There are some, a few key differences between river otters like Gunner and sea otters like you might find at the Monterey Bay Aquarium or even out in the Monterey Bay National Sanctuary. River otters tend to be smaller. They weigh about 15 to 20 pounds. Sea otters are known to be 80 or more pounds. They also have a different type of lifestyle. River otters actually spend two thirds of their life on land or the majority of their time on land. You'll notice that Gunner's exhibit here at Curiodicy has both a large pool as well as a lot of land for him to roam around. And that is because river otters sleep on land, they give birth on land, and they can hunt both on land and in the water. Sea otters, on the other hand, sleep in the ocean, they give birth in the ocean, and they hunt in the ocean. For that reason, sea otters are very furry. Otters do not have a layer of fat or blubber, like a whale or a walrus to keep them warm. Instead, they have a very thick coat with which they can trap air bubbles between their layers of fur to keep them warm. A lot like a down jacket or down sleeping bag. River otters are known to have over 300,000 hairs per square inch. Sea otters are known to have a million or more hairs per square inch. And that is why sea otters were hunted to near extinction for that thick coat. Now I mentioned that river otters can hunt both on land and in the water versus sea otters who hunt in the ocean. So they do have a varied diet. River otters will eat things like fish and shrimp and crab as well as eat things on land because they're carnivores who only eat meat. They'll hunt things like birds and snakes and rats and mice and even a small deer. Yes, even a small deer. Versus a sea otter that's known for eating shellfish like clams and mussels as well as sea urchins. Now there's many ways we can help river otters out in the wild which is our primary reason for housing these animals in captivity. 
by having these animals in a safe home when they're non-releasable or unable to go back into the wild, we really want to focus on teaching people to appreciate wildlife and ways that we can help them. As I mentioned, river otters will spend a lot of time in lakes and rivers and streams, which means they need a healthy source of water to spend that time in. So we want to make sure to keep all of our <laughs> all of our uh, freshwater sources clean and healthy from pollution or litter. As I mentioned litter, animals are often known for eating litter because they don't have the understanding that food wrappers are not food. It smells like food, sometimes it'll even taste like food. So we want to make sure we keep our environment clean by never littering and participating in things like beach cleanups to help keep the environment clean. Something else we can do is to make sure we're choosing sustainable seafood or fish when we eat it. We want to make sure there's plenty of fish out there for the animals that rely on it for their primary meals. And we want to choose things that are not adversely affecting the environment, such as farming practices. And finally, something that will help basically all wildlife, including our pets at home, would be to never use rat or mouse poisons, also known as rodenticides. Those cause a lot of harm for our wildlife. And that's just about any animal that would eat a mouse or a rat, whether it's your cat, whether it's a hawk that I just heard in the distance, an owl, a snake, an otter, a bobcat, basically nearly every animal that we house here at Curiodicy. Are there any questions? Great. Well, I mentioned that Gunner's about 11 years old, and in captivity, they average around 10 years or so when they're under human care. In the wild, that's wrong, everyone. I did that on purpose to make sure you're listening. <laughs> Switch that. In the wild, river otters live about 10 or so years, and that's because they don't may not have a healthy source of food. They may have a predator, an animal that might hunt them, they may get injured and not have something like a veterinarian to help them. In captivity, like Gunner, they can live around 20 years or so with a healthy environment, a healthy diet, a veterinarian to care for them, very little stress, and no predator, predators that can access them. We have a question. What is our question? What does he do all day? <laughs> <laughs> what does Gunner do all day? Well, Gunner, usually when we're open, enjoys checking out our visitors through any of our three windows. We have an upper window on land, and then we have two lower windows, one that is completely submerged in the water, and one that is both in the water and on land. You'll notice that Gunner is pretty sure that lunch is over. However, I see a few pieces of fish that he can forage for. So we like to offer our animals enrichment which keeps them stimulated. So some forms of enrichment that will keep Gunner's Day busy are the feedings. Uh, we will scatter his diet around the exhibit so he has to forage or search for it like he would in the wild. He sleeps a lot and he also spends a lot of time grooming. Remember, he has up to 300,000 hairs per square inch on that body. So that's a lot of fur that he's gonna have to dry off between his swims. On top of that, he does have a trainer named Alex, who you may have seen in our other video with our opossum. And we train him for what we call husbandry behaviors, or behaviors that allow us to take better care of him through medical needs. So that includes the ability to weigh him on a scale using positive reinforcement training with the use of a target stick. Gunner has learned that where the target stick goes, if his nose follows, he'll receive a reward. That allows us to move him around onto things like scales and off and, off and on his exhibit. He's also working on tooth brushing and open mouth, and he's injection trains. Because he's a zoo that lives in captivity, he does receive vaccinations just like your pets at home. And that's gonna keep him from getting sick 
and allow us to take better care of him. So he is trained to let us give him his shots through the fence in protected contact. Um, someone, uh, for those who just joined us, Gunner is about 11 years old, and someone else asked, how long can he hold his breath? How long can a river otter hold their breath? Now, I have heard up to eight minutes, but my short answer is long enough to dive underwater, grab a fish, and bring it to the surface where he will eat it on land. By bringing his food on land, it, it uh, keeps it unable to swim away from him. So we have not done any tests on him, but generally a couple minutes to go down, as you see, look for a fish, use those sensitive whiskers to feel around underwater, as well as his ability to keep his eyes open because he has a protective lens over his eyes. They are well adapted for swimming because both their nostrils and ears close while underwater. And just like us, he is a mammal, so he does have to hold his breath when he's underwater. Uh, the one last question was, is he playful? <laughs> is Gunner playful? Gunner is exceptionally playful. For our own safety and the safety of Gunner, we do not directly interact with him. And as I mentioned, we do all training through protected content tacked with a fence between us because otters are known to be very mouthy. They tend to bite each other and play a lot. And they also are known for grooming each other. And because he has very sharp teeth, as a carnivore to grab that meat, we want to limit any opportunities for him to practice those behaviors on the keepers. Now we do hope that you will consider making a don donation to Curiosity to help us support our rescued animals. And we do have some exciting opportunities coming up in order to renovate this exhibit as well. We hope you enjoyed seeing Gunner today and watching him get his lunchtime snack. He's gonna go dry off, take a nice nap for the afternoon. And we hope to see you once we reopen. Thank you for your support in advance. And please consider checking out curiodicy.org where you can make a donation to help us care for these animals. Bye.